Hi everybody, thank you for watching today. So this week I have got a few bits and pieces, a bit random, but I am waiting on some magazines. So this video may be like two videos together. So yeah, you will see if that does arrive. But I've picked up these bits. I've got some ideas for some fun projects using elastic. So this one here was 99p from Biology. Now I do think there are more of these, so I'm sure somebody else said. But um, anyway, so you get the four mil by five, Oh, sorry, four meters by five mil, four meters by eight mil, and four meters by 12 mil. So yeah, I thought they were quite good. I like the packaging actually. I like the way that they've done them and then you can just obviously take those off because they're just attached with a bit of tape and you've got them all separate like that so it's easy to store. So yeah, I mean, it's sewing elastic by the sewing box. So I don't know where that's from, it's, I mean, yeah, it just says Sewing Box Manchester. There's no website. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's still a wholesale. I don't think it's a, an actual, like, you know, individual shop kind of thing. So, but again, if I can find any links, I will do. But, um, yeah, watch this space for those. I need to play around now. I've got the, the elastic. So, um, yeah, it might not work. Well, hopefully it will. But <laughs> that's that. Then I've also got this assortment of elastic bands. Again, I'm not holding out too much. These, again, were only, I think, these were 79p. But I'm hoping... Uh, yeah, there are. It's these small ones that I want. Oh, they're actually quite good. Yeah, it's those smaller ones. But there are... I mean, those are huge. You get all sorts, you get your traditional, I guess, more, most common ones there. But those, it's these smaller ones, but even those are different. They're the right, yeah, it's more that size that I'm looking for. So again, watch this space, but they will just, they're just handy things to have. The other ones I, I did have before were starting to dry up. You know, when you pull them and it's all like literally crackled away, so they weren't gonna last me at all. Then I just saw these, these were 99p each. And again, it's always that craft brand. They're just a huge wholesaler. And a lot of people, a lot of companies buy from them and just rebrand the packaging as well. So yeah, it's, um, I do see a lot of these things and I'm like, it's like the works, for example, the works just repackage a lot of this stuff. So yeah. When you shop and you see as much as I do, you start to think, I'm see, I've seen that somewhere before. I'm sure I've seen that. So yeah, I have. Okay, so this is what the, it is. But the reason I liked it is it can unwind. So I've actually got them all individual. So they're kind of all twisted up together. So I imagine, find the right one. There we go. That's the, the leader, I guess. They should. Oh, then it goes in with that one. Now they are kind of... It's going to take me a few minutes to, oh no, there we go, I think that one's, there we go, I just had the wrong one. But I just thought they looked really nice to put on gift bags and have behind, you know, little sentiments and bits and pieces like that. I mean, I won't need all the wire on them, so I will end up trimming that. But if you imagine that behind, I mean, and the nice thing is because they're on wire, I can shape them. They only had these two colours, so I've got that's almost like a, a gun metal. I've got a slight greeny tinge to it, and then those ones there, which are kind of that kind of almost, it's, yeah, it's like a platinum yellowy kind of colour. If that even is a colour, but you know what I mean. But again, I'm going to, yeah, just untwist them all. I don't like them as one, one thing, it's not really my style. I prefer them a bit smaller. And then, um, yeah, plus I get more for my money. So 99p, I thought they were actually really quite sweet. You can see that one there as well. So yeah, I've got all of those. And then I've got these, I've just taken them out of the packaging so it always creates a glare, but they're just black faceted, but they're a really nice size, you can see there. And um, yeah, I just thought I like them. So I got those ones. Then I picked up these, I've got two packs. Again, I think these were 79p, that one's moved. Let's stick that one there. And they're little dome, Kind of letters, they look like the old typewriter uh, keys, you know, on the tops, or like a, an old cash register kind of effect. And they, I just thought they were really nice, and I like that they're a bit smaller. So I've got two packs, so you've always got enough of all the letters there. Then I picked up these. Now I know they're glitter, but the difference with these is they are thick, 
um, they're more, it says here, glitter flakes. But the main one I got was this white one, because I'm going to be using this for a lot of my Christmas projects, because it looks just like snow. So if I just get it out there, you can see it's much, much thicker. And um, yeah, I just thought it was going to work great. I'm going to just tip that there, because <laughs> it's going to get in a mess on here. I know it is. But they were one pound. So I got that in the white. It says here it's called Brian Clegg Glitter Flakes, 60 grams. Um, again, this is all from Biology, but the, the silver ones are really, really thick. They're going to look great in shaker cards because it's, yeah, it's nice to mix that all together. So that's more for my Christmas project. You can see that I've got it everywhere. And then I went to Lidl. Now, again, I don't know. I know Lidl is in a lot of European countries, but I don't know if it's in the likes of Australia and the States and Canada, I don't know. So this is by Crelando, Crelando, I think it's Crelando. And um, yeah, it's the little brand, but I think you can purchase it. I'm sure I've seen it on Amazon. So whenever they do their paper packs, I always grab them because they're always really good quality. So this is the 135 GSM paper. So this is the drawing pad and it's all, um, A3 size? Yeah, it must be A3. So this is perfect for mats and layers, but the colours are lovely. And you get one, two, two of each colour. So you've got your black and you've got a couple of brown tones there. You can see you've got a real nice kind of mix and you've got a really light cream and white. And you've got some greys, lighter greys, and you go into your greens. Really nice colours. And then that brings you into these nice blues, reds. Pink, purple, another pinky colour, and then finishing with your oranges, yellows, and again that cream. So I got one of the paper, and then I got three of the cardstock. The cardstock's 270 GSM, and I've had a lot of these over the years. They are always really, really good quality. They don't crack. You get a nice piece of grey board on the back as well, so you can always use that. And again, this one here, you only get one of each. So that's why I've got three packs, and now I've got three of each. And I can cut them in half if I need to. But they make, you know, it's great that they're this size, so you can make bigger gift bags and stuff. You've got browns, creams, whites. Like I said, one of each colour. They're so nice. Slight few different kind of shades to the paper one that I showed you. It's yeah, pretty similar. But yeah, three of them. So I've got what's that? Seventy-five sheets of really nice cardstock for. They're three. It was two for three pound. So I got yeah those two and those two. So yeah, hundred sheets of you know really nice card and paper for six pound. So I thought that was a bargain. So yeah, maybe I should have got another pack of them. Maybe a pack of them as well because again, you see how much I craft. I go through this stuff so quickly. So yeah, if I can find bargain card that I've already used and I know works, then um, yeah, I grab it. And then I received my order from Hunky Dory. So this is there for the Lover Stamps range. I absolutely love it. They're beautiful stamps, great quality, all photopolymer, and I just they're just so nice to colour in. I use them in a lot of my cards. So the ones that I picked up are all from their clearance section. So I do encourage you to go over there because they have some really good bargains. So I'm going to talk you through each one with the prices I paid. So the most I paid was three ninety nine with one, two, three, four, five of them being 99p. So really, really good. So all of this came to 15.78 and then I had to pay 2.99 postage. So I thought that was great. And it came within, uh, I think, uh, two days. So the first one is this one, which is Scent With Love. And you can see all of the perfume bottles, really easy to color, nice and easy to cut out. And you've got here, you never, you're never fully dressed without perfume. Glamour never takes a day off and have a beautiful day really like those think they're super cute and that one like i said was i oh no, haven't said the price so this is 2.99 then this is one of my favorite ones this was 99p this will be great for well any food lovers but more masculine style cards as well so it's a pizza and you can put all your different toppings on and there's loads of different toppings there i think it's cool you got your pepper mushrooms olives uh, peppers chili sorry uh, a little shrimp or prawn tomato and then oh gosh I'm, hang on I need to stamp them I think to see you got lettuce I'm not sure what that one is I'm trying to work out anyway 
they'll definitely get used. You've got your little pizza cutter, a slice, and then you've got your The Slice of My Life, your Supremely Awesome, which I think is really good, and then this one is just your pizza stamp, You've Stolen a Pizza My Heart. Isn't that cool? Love that. And that was 99p. Um, brilliant. Absolutely love them. So you're going to see those featuring definitely because I've already got some ideas for that one. Then I picked up these. These were 99p. This is the Essentials Inserts Collection. This is the frames. Now the reason I've got these is because I've got a lot of stamps that don't have corresponding dies, sentiment stamps that is, and when you stamp them sometimes it's quite hard to cut them out and you don't know whether to cut a square or a rectangle. So the idea is I've got two lots. I've also got this one here which is the Occasions and this one was also 99p. So any kind of stamps that I've got, I can stamp it, find one of these frames that's going to fit. Obviously it's not going to fit every stamp I have, but a lot of them it will. Stamp the frame and then cut around the frame, which is going to be so much easier and I think neater. So I've got some nice circle stamps, small ones, which I know will fit with that. Or one, sorry, I've got small stamps that will fit within that circle, so I can cut that. I could probably get my circle punch around that one actually. I love the star one. All of these that are inside are separate stamps, so you can remove them and uh, you've got little corners there. Love that big one. I think that's going to come in quite handy for a few stamps that I've got because I've recently got all of those, the general and the occasion sentiment stamps from Dovecraft and I know that there's going to be quite a few that will fit inside of these, especially ones like this and that tag. And I just thought they were really cool. So yeah, you've got the lines, you've got little obviously other bits here, you've got a dotted frame there. But there's quite a few but for 99p each I know they're going to come in handy and Again, they're just such great quality. So that's those two. Then this one's another favourite. This is called Jam Packed with Love. This was one ninety nine, And you get your lovely big jam jar, mason jar there. And then you get strawberries and raspberries. And you can stamp and fill the whole jar with them. And you get this mini, beautiful little cute thing there. Um, preserve, you know, when you go to your restaurants, that's what I'm trying to... No, stay overnight in a hotel, that's it. And you go down for breakfast. And then you have these little jars. That's what I was trying to get out. Um, and you can have these tiny little phrases inside. So you've got spread the love. You're so sweet. With love and hugs and preserved with love. Isn't that cute? You've got your spoon. And then you've got here, there's only one thing sweeter than jam. And then you'd open up the card and it would say you. And then you've got absolutely jam-packed with love. Just love it. <laughs> and on the back it also shows you other things within the range which I already have a few of so that's that one and then this one here again love this this is 2 99 this is mixed vegetables so I thought this is nice again for any garden lovers any people that you may know that have their own allotment and, or grow their own I know lots of people that do that so this is a nice fun card for that but it's all this fun little puns that they put with it so you've got all of you know your, your common vegetables there but then you've got a little kind of uh, frame there like the wooden um, oh, I can't get my words out you know what that is but inside you can put tomatoes, broccoli, cabbage parsnips, peppers, beetroot, carrots radishes, lettuce and peas and then you've got happy birthday have an upbeat day <laughs> I love you from my head to my toes tomatoes, <laughs> love it these are going to make such fun cards I love, can you tell, I love cards with puns so um, yeah, and you've got more there again. So that one was two ninety nine. Then this was the most expensive one, three ninety nine. But again, I know this is going to be really handy for quite a few people. I know. So this is fast food fun, and you have your big burger. You've got your drinks there. Your God, why can't I think of anything? What's that cup? It's not. Is it a cup? Yeah, I guess it is a cup. You've got your fries, your hot dog, and then your mustard or tomato bottle there a little flag to put in the burger and then these little hearts and stars you've got your splat so that'd be good with that and then you can have that just coming out of the top of it and then you've got happy burger day birthdays are all about having it large that's such a nice that's just that's really good i haven't got that and i think you could maybe fit that no it might not i thought it might have gone in the the fries there maybe and then we've got we go together like burger and fries and just it's just different and again they're nice sized as well and really easy to cut out so look out for those they're going to be colored in the near future then the last one was this one now the reason i've got it is not because it's a new home stamp which is how they've got it so this is a no place like home as soon as i saw that i thought halloween it just screams halloween and i'm wondering if that's why maybe it's gone into the sale because this is 99p but that looks like a haunted house, maybe because it's in a silhouette style. Then you've got these trees. That just the, the naked tree 
you know kind of stump or branches there with no leaves on just to me again is just screaming Halloween so it's got congratulations from our home to yours and there's no place like home but I I personally even the fence it just all looks scary <laughs> so that's why I brought it I want to actually use this for Halloween I don't I never buy Halloween kind of specific stamps and things like that because it's not something I use a lot and it's obviously only a very very small time in the year but for the odd thing I do do I just thought for 99p these are going to be good so I'm definitely going to do something with the haunted what I'm calling the haunted house I imagine if you stamp it in like a pink or a nice light blue or something really happy then it will have a different look to it but it just I don't know even with all that it's it's like ivy that they've got growing off of it it's it is sorry hunky dory that is a halloween stamp if anybody else thinks it's not please do say but i think a lot of you agree even the way they've got the birds flying around the house halloween so and then they got the silhouette i've got that one there i don't have that one but then that's in silhouette but that doesn't look halloween to me so it's yeah i just think that one's been i think they would have been much better packaging that as a halloween one changing the sentiments but anyway so yeah you will see that in due course obviously it's not Halloween for a while yet but I thought I would pick that one up so yeah I've got one two three four five six seven eight I will share all the links and I do encourage you to go over because there's more stuff in their clearance as well so there's some real good bargains to be had okay so that's everything today guys not much but um yeah I always like to share it definitely try and get the card stock if you do have a lid all nearby and they have this in there it's always a bit random in well again if you shop in Lidl you know what it's like it's all in kind of tubs and in long kind of lines and nothing's really ever in its where you would think it would be like this was next to I think it was a load of biscuits or something anyway but um I will try and link anything I can find if I can find on Amazon I will this stuff I probably won't be able to link at all because it's again biology isn't none of this is online so yeah I might struggle a little bit there so apologies because I know a lot of you do click on the links but if i can find them i will otherwise i'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching see you soon bye